In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this warm plush pink eye makeup look for monolid eyes. This will be focused just on the eyes and the lips. Starting with this tropical eyeshadow palette from Dose of Colors. The brush I'm using is this fluffy blending brush by Fenty Beauty, the brush number 210 but you can use any fluffy blending brush that you have. I'm going to take this light pink color and we're going to apply it all over the eyelids. Just sweeping a light color all over the eyelids, stopping a little bit above the crease. Now with the same fluffy brush, I'm just going to take this warm pink eyeshadow and apply that right to the outer corner and the crease. And just blend that in. And just repeating that in the same the other eye. With my ring finger, I'm just going to take this sparkly pink shimmer shade. And I'm just going to dot that on the center of our lid. I don't like a lot of sparkle and glitter, so this is just a soft light wash of the shimmer shade right to the center. See that? Now I'm lining my eyes with my favorite auto gel eyeliner. This is the McLean number no. 2 roasting brown gel pencil. For hooded eyes or like my monolid eyes, I say it's hooded because it has this fold right here, just like hooded eyes. Make sure that you're doing your eyeliner looking straight. And for my eye shape, I just have to go right where the fold starts. So you can see it when you look straight. And when you try to exaggerate the eyeliner even more, it just makes your hooded eyes even more obvious. So just stick to the natural shape of your eye. And I like to extend it just a little past to create that wing. Just a small one. I have to do my eyeliner kind of thick because the eyes have a really big fold. You see how it disappears when I look straight? I also like to take this eyeliner brush and kind of smudge, smudge the eyeliner to make it softer. With this gel pencil, if you don't work quickly, it sets and it's kind of hard to blend and move it around. I kind of waited too long. Another thing I like to do is using a dark black or brown eyeshadow and just go over it right here too where the fold is. I put the eyeshadow on top of the fold to prevent it from creasing throughout the day. It's kind of like putting setting powder over foundation. It's the same concept. And if you're having a hard time creating that little wing on the outside corner, sometimes the brush is easier to just kind of pull the color slightly out to create that flick. I also like to put just a little bit on the lower lash line and then smudging it with my brush. And just stopping halfway. And it just creates a very subtle line but it makes a big difference to define your eyes. I'm going to take this warm pink eyeshadow and just run that right on top of our gel pencil just to soften it and make the color kind of match the top and bottom. If 
you don't have a lighter, feel free to use a blow dryer. Make sure it's not too hot. Sometimes it helps to just hold it for like five seconds. And I curl at the base and then also like towards the middle of my lashes. See that? And then going in with my favorite mascara. And tilting my head back, I also have to kind of lift my eyelids to get to my lashes because they're so hooded. And for my lashes, I have to add a very, very light layer. So like, I'll coat it and then with my finger, remove the excess because if it's too heavy, it weighs down my lashes. Now if I want my lashes to really curl, I use a curler that has like this um, spring. You see how it got that spring? It really helps to like give my lashes that extra oomph. This one is from Makeup Geek. I don't know if it's still available on their website anymore because they recently closed their business, but you can find these on Amazon too sure it's not too hot. Okay, going in again. Now this one doesn't fit the shape of my eye like the first lash curler. So it gets like the middle of my lashes, but the curling power on this one, see that? Really curls my lashes. See how short my natural lashes are? I mean, it's okay. It's not too bad, but like, because my eyes are so hooded, it covers like the majority of my lashes. So I have to put on falsies a lot. I mean, I don't wear falsies all the time, but for these tutorials, when I'm on camera, I have to put on lashes. So today we're going with these. I got them on Amazon. I've already trimmed them and I found that with my hooded monolid eyes, there's a trick to when you trim your lashes because you see how like when I open and close my eyes, there's this part that completely disappears at the inner corner. So when you trim your lashes, like I always have to trim the inner corner, the inner corner of my lashes because this part has to be long enough to show up on my eyelids. And then another tricky part is the outer corner. So I thought I had trimmed it properly, like from here, here to here. But what I found, when I place it on my eye, when I open my eyes, you see how this part kind of droops down? Because I have this extra skin, this hood, folding over this corner. You see that? So, what you have to do is trim, not to the lash line, but trim to where this part and this part don't push the lashes down so that it curls up when you apply your lashes. Does that make sense? So instead of trimming it all the way down here, you kind of have to trim it like right here. So when you open your eyes, this part will like flare up. That means I have to trim this part. You see where this part connects? To the outer corner so like right here which is like I have to trim off this cluster right here so I'm lining it up to my lash line and you see see how it doesn't um, droop and point down anymore so when you put on the glue, make sure that you cover the entire lash band. The ones that I'm using today is from Lily Lashes. And then put a little extra just 
on each end because that's where the lashes tend to lift the most and then just wave it around in the air don't blow it because our breath has germs and we don't want germs on our lashes so after doing it for a few seconds i'm just going to place it on top of my lash line now sometimes depending on how hooded your eyes are you can put it slightly above your lash line and you won't really notice it because our eyelids are so hooded that it won't be noticeable and then kind of push it upward so that it flares up if you see like glue or glitter or whatever on your lash band make sure you go over it with powder or a liquid liner to kind of mask that so that it looks like it's it looks more natural I oh, can't stand glitter that gets on my lashes I think it's from when it touched the eyeshadow up here sometimes it helps take a spoolie and kind of try to brush through it oh, close enough some of you might be saying oh, this is so much extra work well if you want it to look good putting in the extra effort really pays off so I'm going to top off my lips with a color also called truffle from Dose of Colors it just makes matching your lips and your eyes easy you don't have to think about it going to deepen the outer part of my lips this color is called Shyla mm, it's like a dark pink brown I'm just gonna put down the outer part just a bit and then spreading it so that it looks more natural see the difference this side and this side and I didn't take away from the pink because I didn't touch the center part of my lips And that's it for the makeup tutorial. I just parted my hair a little bit to give my hair some volume, added some hoop earrings, and call it done. I'm so happy how this turned out. Trust me, all this work is worth it. I hope this video helped you. Good luck with it, and thank you so much for staying till the end. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!